The next clip we're going to show um, involves uh, the death of Metro Man, which uh, is the arch nemesis of our villain, uh, Megamind. And uh, uh, he basically gets shot, you'll see in the next clip, by a massive orbital death ray. So um, for that laser sound, uh, we use uh, inspiration from one of my heroes in sound design, um, Ben Burt, who on the Star Wars films uh, famously did an, uh, a recording mission with high tension wires connected to uh, radio towers um, and to create that classic pew sound for, for the lasers in Star Wars. So we did a little variation on that and um, it's a little tricky when you're out in the field getting being able to do a performance and adjust the sound of high tension wires against a radio tower. So we did something that we could uh, more easily manipulate in the studio and actually built our own wire system using uh, thick gauge copper. And we got about 250 feet of this copper and coiled it around PVC pipe and essentially made a giant spring that uh, if I brought the original one in here, it would probably hang it on the ceiling there and it would stretch across to this corner here. And on the other end, we had a little bowl to resonate the sound of that copper. So I brought in a miniature version of that today. You can kind of see what it looks like and hear it. It's down here below the desk. But if you do hang just onto this one, as yeah. opposed to here, it'll change the pitch because it's not going to deaden the... Yeah. There you go. That's very That's cool. It's a laser. The, uh, the explosion following this death ray blast, um, I think, is a really great demonstration of 7.1 because uh, camera is cutting perspective to the people reacting to the explosion and back to the explosion. And you as an audience will discreetly hear the explosion <clears throat> happening behind you. Um, in the past with 5.1, which was a wonderful format, um, uh, but it's been around for a while. But uh, with 5.1, it's when you put thing in, things in the surrounds, it kind of sits more on the side, and uh, which is true really in, in most theaters. Rarely do you get a feeling that it's behind you. With 7.1, you really do get the sense that things are behind you, um, which uh, was great fun for us uh, while mixing this movie and I think very helpful for this scene you're about to see.